Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to another video. So new reports are coming out that Aston Martin may take a huge step forward this season and overtake the midfield, and are McLaren going to ditch Mercedes to form an engine partnership with Red Bull? Make sure to like the video, and subscribe for more Formula 1 content, but let's jump straight into the news. So let's start with McLaren, who are reported to be considering a shock engine partnership with Red Bull. As we know Red Bull are currently powered by Honda, but from 2026 Red Bull will make their own power units. Ford will also be involved in the project as they announced a partnership with the team, although this is very much a commercial and technical deal. And it looks like Red Bull's power unit division has got McLaren interested, with The Independent reporting that Chief Executive Zach Brown is said to have visited Red Bull powertrains earlier this month to explore a potential deal. Red Bull also confirmed Brown was at the factory, although released no further details. Now McLaren are currently powered by Mercedes engines and are set to continue this partnership for another three seasons. So talks between McLaren and Red Bull are at an early stage, and we'll just have to see how this develops. Now this move surprises me for two reasons. First of all, Brown was quite vocal during the Red Bull Coscap saga, which I feel would have strained the relationship between him and Red Bull team boss Christian Horner. And on top of that, Mercedes have proven over the years they can make a quick and reliable engine. And going to Red Bull is very much a step into the unknown. Now McLaren are also understood to have been in dialogue with Honda, as the Japanese manufacturer weighs up a return to F1 as an engine manufacturer in 2026. As I've said before, given the tension the two had between 2015 and 2017, I can't see this happening. But these reports of McLaren looking around does make me think that they may end up leaving Mercedes from 2026 onwards, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. Now on a different note, McLaren also got their MCL60 out on track in Bahrain. This is the first time the car has been on the circuit, and the team were quite secretive with the video they released, with them ensuring that some of the design secrets of its new car were not revealed to its rivals just yet. I mean, video footage was carefully framed to ensure that it was not possible to analyse specific details of the floor edge, which is a critical area for the performance. So it will be interesting to see if McLaren have something up their sleeve for this season, hence why they're being so secretive about it. But let's move on to Aston Martin, with there being new reports coming out over the team's competitiveness. Now the team entered the sport in 2021, and have a 5 year plan to be fighting at the front of the grid. And I do feel they need to make progress this year, after 2 years of finishing 7th in the constructors standings. But the team are investing heavily in infrastructure, and it's been reported the team could end up making a very big step forward this year. To quote the race, One recurring rumour of the last few weeks is that the Aston Martin AMR23's tunnel numbers are very good. As in, not just good by midfield team standards, but actually good really good, as in competitive car goods. Now for me I do think they'll move forward this year, I mean I could see Aston Martin getting some podiums, but being in a position where they could consistently fight at the front with Ferrari, Rebel and Mercedes could be tough, but you never know, and sometimes tunnel rumours prove true. For example, the 2009 Braun which went on to win the title, so it will be interesting to see what happens at pre-season testing, and if the team are anywhere near the front, I do think Fernando Alonso will put himself in title contention. After all, he wrestled his Ferrari in 2010 and 2012 to be in that position, and it would be insane to see Alonso go for the title again. But do you think it's possible? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care.